Megan writhed with her self-made five-year-old trash pit. There is no way to prevent tragedy. Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. In the few weeks since the publication of the book Spare, Meghan Markle has been pretty quiet. But anyway, it looks like she is suffering some consequences thanks to her awful behavior. These consequences may not be as newsworthy as people would like, but anyway, at least something is happening on that front. Opinion polls that have been done in both the UK and the US show that Meghan's popularity is falling, and there seem to be some similar declines in other countries as well. This is definitely not at the level of court actions, but anyway, it's going to have an effect on Meghan's marketability. See, public opinion is very important to Meghan Markle because that's what she relies on to secure more money from her sponsors and any future deals she may try to make. Now, in the past, Meghan Markle could pick up the phone and she could silence individuals who spoke against her. Her continuous awful behavior ever since Oprah has resulted in the tide turning. Now, they tried to get Clarkson canceled after they rejected three apologies from him. But ITV did not fire Clarkson. In fact, they renewed Clarkson Farm for a third season. And South Park refused to take Harry's calls when Harry tried to stop that show from coming out. Their behavior has finally resulted in people seeing them for exactly what they are. Megan's awful behavior is going to cost her and lost opportunities to make money for herself. I think the South Park episode did a great job of highlighting Megan's hypocrisy, and the public response to the program is going to put sponsors off, of course. Megan really expected her rebellious, teenager-style antis with the royal family to be admired by people, but clearly the opposite has occurred. But she just kept on. Megan cannot read the room, and she also does not understand the risks that she's been taking. And now apparently Megan is wanting to return to social media blogging, but her reputation for lies precedes her at this point, so I don't think anyone is going to want to follow her. Megan allowed herself to be overexposed in the media, which was something that she was warned about by the Palace PR team, but she ignored them. She won't listen to anybody. And now it looks like the chickens are finally coming home to roost. Harry and Meghan also show a complete lack of self-awareness. They live a very extravagant lifestyle and they demand all kinds of things they're not entitled to. And at the same time, they whine about being victims. That does not look good to ordinary people who are struggling just to pay their bills. And also that daddy stopped giving me my allowance when I was in my 30s. Yeah, that's not a good look for Harry. Harry's always telling us little people how to act and how to live our lives while living in a 16-bathroom McMansion and flying around the world in private jets. The two of them are simply out of touch. Megan is a grown woman. She has made her own choices in life. It's not an act of racism or bullying to say that Megan's behavior is disgusting. She uses men to get anything that she wants because she can't do it on her own. And it always fails, and everything that she touches turns to garbage, which is a proven fact many times over. So in my opinion, Megan needs to accept a divorce settlement of $50 million and then she can go and live a quiet lifestyle of luxury and disappear so that we don't have to see her or hear from her ever again. I do hope that she gets some good professional help too. She needs it. I hope that woman can finally find some peace in life. See, eventually, I think Megan is going to come to understand who she is and that she's not all that amazing. But because of her overwhelming ego, it might take quite some time. You can fool some people some of the time, part of the people part of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. This is a very true statement. And the most tragic part of all of this is how much Megan could have done, how much good she could have done in the world if she had just wanted to. So sure, maybe the consequences are not coming as fast as we would like them to, but when they come, they're going to come down very hard, and Megan is not going to have an opportunity to bounce back. The court case is going to be coming up in September of 2023. That's the one, of course, that involves her half-sister, Samantha, and that's just going to prove what a liar and evil person Megan really is to everybody. I can't wait for that to happen. I believe there will be depositions that prove that that marriage is a sham. It was based on fraudulent claims that Meghan made to both the royal family and to Harry. So to explain why Meghan needs to be punished, the truth is evil thrives when good people don't do anything against evil. Meghan did rise pretty high on the social ladder. She got fame and fortune. She took advantage of the silence and also some good breeding. 
Let's remember, Meghan has already told us she didn't sign anything saying that she wouldn't betray the trust of the personal lives of the royal family. Again, Meghan was empowered by their silence. Riding high on these personal revelations, Meghan's ignorant perception of royalty of protocol allowed her to speak loudly about a once-loved and admired prince who suddenly realized that, oh, he was a racist, an accidental racist, if you will. Harry was the one who catapulted her into a world who wanted to listen to her nonsense and her demented personality I guess at one point people were interested in. Harry just sunk into the background. He was manipulated by her. And then came all of the lies, the book, the rationalization that the prince, the spare, was simply another victim just like Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle was building a wall just around the corner. Neither she nor Harry can ever recover from this fully. All the king's horses and all the king's men are never going to be able to put these relationships back together again. Family is not supposed to be some secret. Family is sacred. And a British expert provides further argument, even if you do not agree with the idea of a monarchy, you do not walk into a thousand years of history and think you are going to change it. In The Crown, they talk about how that monarchy changes to survive, not on a whim. Really, I think even though I don't think showing up to wave and be seen as a real job, a lot of travel and preparation goes into those walkabouts and public events. And it's a lot of time out of your life just to show up everywhere all of the time and be seen to promote some kind of goodwill. I have heard that senior royals can have as many as 300 public appearances a year. That is almost one a day. To me, that was the real problem. They only maybe wanted to do 150 appearances a year or maybe 200, and the firm said no. You take the job as it is, not on your own terms. I think the pace and the schedule and demands of six months of traveling and appearances were more than they were used to, and Meghan or Harry did not want to do it, and all this other talk is to hide that fact. When you get paid to do a job, the employer sets the terms. They did not like the terms, so they quit. Understandable. But it's not a good look to bash the employer or family because you could not have the job your way. Let's help them move on by not giving them so much attention. One insider agreed, saying the only way she loses is if we ignore everything that they do. They have already said they don't want a public life, so we should stop talking about them, stop saying their names, and stop giving them awards for nothing. But marketing people know their business, and just mentioning their names gets clicks. So no matter what they say, good or bad, they are not going away until we stop talking about them and watching them. If someone uses her to market something except bin bags, wouldn't that company go out of business pretty quickly? The other question would be, why would anyone want to market their product with her? It's sickening that she has the gall to show her face in public after all of the deception she has been caught in that could have potentially been catastrophic for many people, places, and things. She is vile and toxic and sincerely a laughingstock with no credibility or relevancy whatsoever. What do you think about a tragedy that awaits Meghan Markle in the future? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.